Welcome back, everybody. Don't you know? She is so fantastic. And by the way, I adore this guy right here. And I don't know about you, but I have a cabinet in my garage filled with dried paintbrushes, and I don't really want to throw them away. And thank goodness Ken is here to show us how easy it is to transform them into colorful works of blooming art. Which so you're I that would, guy? You're I the guy? I would never have thought of. This is basically geared towards me. You just like, you finish, and then something happens, the phone rings, your son, daughter needs something, and then you come back three hours later, and doesn't, you're like... It doesn't even necessarily need that big of a distraction. I just got to put it down <laughs> and walk away. <laughs> so as we know, or as most of us know, we should wash our brushes right. immediately after use. Especially I do, when I you do, have nice ones. Yeah, I do sometimes. Um, um, what we do here, which I love, I actually have a photo of it, we keep a bucket of just water with our paint. So if you oh. don't have time, just keep a bucket there, you throw it in there, fill half with water, and then you can come back and clean them later. Perfect. Even though that happens, yeah. some of the DIY department is guilty of walking away, going to crafty, getting distracted, and that'd be me. Yeah, I, I, I could see where this was going. <laughs> okay, so you know what? I don't feel so badly then. All right, right here, this is one of my paintbrushes that, right. especially here, right, it's all oh. right. It doesn't take long, totally, and you can't get that back. No. So we would often just toss these, but I decided let's sort of turn them into a little bit of a little bit of art. Um, it's very like you simple. Do so well, yeah. Co this will cost you nothing. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you real time here how we're going to actually transform. Great. This. So we're going to paint the handle with just a sort of medium sort of sky blue color. I like it. Now, what if it's not a wood handle? What if it's one of the, uh, I guess they're always pretty much wood, but sometimes they can already have a little that, bit of paint to yeah, it. Yeah, which is fine. You, That's because fine. honestly, this is going to probably be an old paintbrush anyway. Okay. So you're already going to have lots of and, and The paint stuff. will hold the onto that as well. And any kind of spe uh, special paint that we're using? Um, this is just acrylic craft paint. I okay, went great. In, so don't go out and buy anything special. Use what you already have there. Beautiful. And I noticed you're getting a little bit of paint on the yeah, there. Bristles, that's okay? Yep, that's okay. That's great. And then okay. I'm going to take a sort of medium green and I'm going to brush up from the bottom. Okay. And get all of our bristles done. Guess what I like about this? What's that? It's not too perfect. It's, it's not perfect at all. You know all. what I mean? Like you can really kind of do your own thing here and it's going to be just fine. Once you do that, what you're going to do is just bring that slightly up in to your to blend the colors into is that what's your happening? blue exactly okay great just a little bit up like that and that's going to start to build your grass sort of i like those two colors strokes. together too ken jeez you think you've done this before yeah you know um <laughs> next okay. we're going to get your bright green okay and you're going to do the same thing do another layer on it coming up okay, and this like also that. then turn your brush so it's sideways so you get some nice strokes coming up so Beautiful. and don't keep it even don't like worry about it too much do what you can. I like the way this is going. This is fantastic. Yeah, and okay, I'm going to so. go with my dark green, and I'm going to do just the bottom down here. Is there a technique what colors you should start with? I mean, basically, I, I, logic would say you'd start with the lighter tones and work darker. Yeah, and that's usually, especially with this, in my mind, this is sort of like a meadow, and, you know, the sun is shining, like, yeah. further out. But you can really play around with it. And because it's just a messed up paintbrush, so you're not, there's no waste of waste of materials when you do it. I love how, the way this is just coming so together in real time like this. So basically, you know, this. that's your, that's your like little meadow Beautiful. there. And then in, in the meadow, there's sometimes, um, got one here that that's dried out here. a little bit. Yeah, very Exactly. Good. Now, how I did these clouds, oh, okay, all great. I do, just to get an old sponge. This is good for those sort of sponges that you shouldn't be using anymore in your kitchen, but you still are, <laughs> um, which are most <laughs> of mine. And he looked at me when he said that, but yeah. That was, you know. Um, and then just gonna do a little bit of the dark blue. Okay. Great. Just to create some texture, and then I'm going to go back through with a little bit of white. And when you do this, just tap out your sponge because so you don't it's want, subtle. You don't want too much paint, and do your clouds. Okay, very over good. The top like that. So that's how you got that as Boom. well. So then this will be this. First of all, well done. It'll Thank dry you. and look a little something like this guy exactly. right here. Very nice. And now in the meadow, when you're out there in the green meadow, there's usually some wild, this time of year. Time there's there's the, the super bloom, growing. the poppies. So what I did was I found some old silks that we weren't using. There you ball. go. But instead of just using the silks, I cut off the blooms and I added a layer of paint to them. Because what that is going to do is oh. give them the same sort of feel. So they're not just the plain flowers. You see the difference there? I'm going to hold them side by side. It because just changes that's a that great... texture a little bit. Yeah, maybe it's hard to see there, but it does. It gives a little bit extra texture. It takes away a little bit of the plastic look. Very exactly. Well done. Okay, great. And then this, all this is, is this orange twine. Yep. And I use that same dark um, green color that I had. And I'm just going to sort of put that twine on here, and that's going to be hot glue is fine for that. No hot problem. Hot glue, it's all you craft need. glue. This is really one of those things where you can't really do too wrong. 
and I'm just gonna add that right on there. And I do like the choice of using the actual twine for a stem versus the plastic stem because it's got that texture, it's got that earthy kind of feel to it. Exactly, because right? if you just did the if you just did the plastic stem, you're basically just gluing a plastic flower on the um, on the paintbrush, and that's not Sweet. gonna have that same that same charge. And so done. And now we can do a little message. A little I'm, message of joy. How little, about that? Little stamps, you know, pick up the craft store, you probably already have these. And just add it, and these are, you know, it's supposed to be rough, rustic, so don't worry about making it perfect or measuring out your spacing. J-O-Y, because that's the way I feel. Oh. But that's cute. <laughs> it's J-O-Y upside J -O -Y down. J-O-Y upside yeah. down. Uh, you know <laughs> I what? I was so close. That so is close. the first time I wasn't the guy who did it, but I think it's extra special just like that. Yeah. And by the way, we got to make sure we wash these brushes after this. Well, I'm going to do little miniature ones next. Okay, you are? Okay, tiny, so tiny. keep going, keep going, keep going, everybody. All right, full instructions on Ken's DIY. Visit HallmarkChannel.com.